Welcome back to the channel. Today's day 86 of this 300 days fitness challenge. Today's exercise is right on the screen along with a list of everything we're gonna need today and every single day of this challenge. Also a list of everything we're gonna need for the first 100 days. And also a list of some of the items we're gonna start using after day 100. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. Let's get to it. Let's take our first break. Whew. It feels good being home. <laughs> uh. I don't know. It definitely does feel good being home. Even though it's really cold in here and I have to shovel my my way into the shed <laughs> before, I, before I even came in here today ah, there's piles and piles of snow out there had to whew, grab the shovel and shovel a path from the back door back here into the shed today. Oof. It's definitely worth it. Nothing like working out and having your system how you like it and you know where things are and you don't have to put a towel on the floor. <laughs> this floor might not be the cleanest but it's definitely cleaner than any hotel floor. Alright. And I am having some issues with my wrist. I discovered that today as I was shoveling snow. I don't know what it is. I have no idea what it is. It only hurts in certain positions and when I do certain things like this. Uh, but I don't know. I guess I'm getting old. Which getting old is better than not getting old. Oh. I might have, might have to use one of them wristbands. I don't know. I guess it only hurts. Well, so far I haven't tried to pull with a pull-up bar yet. But so far it only hurts when I put my hand flat down like this and I put my weight on it. Like when I'm doing push-ups, pulling not yet. So, oh, I guess we'll find out tomorrow. We'll find out tomorrow with the pull-ups. All right, 
core exercise. seconds to go on our first break we'll do another set take another break we'll do another set and we'll figure it out if we're gonna take another break and do another set right after that one so far this is the first break we'll do another set we'll take another break and another set for sure Past that point, I'm not sure. Hope I should. I should since um, it's not that hard. <sighs> should be pushing myself really hard these days. And today's day six. Today's day 86. That means there's 14 days of this failure treatment. A failure. All right, here we go. Time's up. Second break. Here we go. Oh, I can definitely feel it in the core. <laughs> At some point, I need to start working my obliques too. In these 20 days, I did not plan to incorporate any oblique exercises. Um, This ab exercise, I'm sort of counting it as a rest day. You don't necessarily, you don't really have to work your abs that hard. You don't get a six pack from abs, ab exercises. It's good to do a core exercises, but they will not give you a six pack if that's what you're looking for. So if you're looking for a six pack, Core exercises are not the solution. <laughs> oh, that's not the answer. Uh, your core will be stronger and a little more pronounced whenever you get to have your six pack. But in the meantime, 
uh, you're wasting your time if you think you're gonna get a six pack or you're gonna burn your belly fat or your love handles from doing twists or crunches, leg raises or any type of core exercise. Whew. It definitely feels good. Feels good in the core. Uh, hopefully by the time I get to uh, get rid of the layers of fat around my core and, and abs, my abs will be a little more pronounced than someone who just loses fat, which is kind of what I'm looking for. Uh, I'm not looking to look crazy, shredded. <laughs> well, you've seen the picture. <laughs> what I'm trying to look like. That's not too crazy. That is achievable. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to achieve it. However, I'm gonna go for it anyway. I'm gonna try do my best to get there. It's almost a year for that, for me to get there. And as a newbie, I can, I'm not gonna say I'm gonna get there, but I'm gonna get pretty darn close. At least in my eyes, or at least in the eyes of the camera. All right, let's see how much longer we have. Uh, still have time to rest here. So we'll do after this break. We'll do another set. Yeah. After that set, we'll take another break and do another another set. That'll make it what? Four sets. Yeah. Four sets. One day. All I do is rest. I don't know if I'm gonna make it to that goal. <laughs> I take longer resting than the actual exercise. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. So far, I've been. I can feel and see the results of the exercise. Uh, you can critique it as much as you want to. But the results are there. Actually, I showed the picture of day 80 which was six days ago versus day one, there's a noticeable difference. There is a noticeable difference. Okay. Uh, we'll keep pushing, keep pushing. Oh, got the burn there from my boots at work. Not actually my actual boots, but my snow boots. <laughs> they were rubbing against my leg and I had to walk two miles in the snow. It wasn't fun. But anyway, less talking, more doing. Here we go. Break. 
Let's take this last break with confidence. <laughs> we can do it. We can definitely ex exercise to the end. <sighs> I know sometimes you think that's all you got. Take a break, step back, and go for it again. Those last reps, as long as you do them safely, it'll be worth it. Definitely worth it. All right, time's ticking. Now I know tomorrow I'm gonna be here. <laughs> For the exercise simply because today and half of tomorrow are my days off when I say half of tomorrow I mean like past 5 p.m. tomorrow so yeah I'll be here tomorrow to do the pull-up exercise and the day after which is the squat day. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it here or somewhere else. Chances are it's gonna be here. And we'll end up doing the push-up burpees again at the hotel. And hopefully I'll come back the day after so I can do the push-ups here. Tomorrow push-ups are gonna be inclined and I don't want to be facing that direction on the inclined push-up day. I want to be pushing, uh, I want to be facing this way. And if I'm facing this way, I mean towards the camera, uh, I, mean, I kind of want you to see that I'm actually doing the incline push-ups. Not with a big sofa chair on my face the whole time. Okay, I, I guess we can, I can figure it out how to make it work with the cameras, but uh, the other camera that I used at the hotel last time, um, uh, doesn't have a wide angle lens, wide angle lens. So the camera is kind of far away, which is why I had to record the audio differently. And I'm gonna try, I'm gonna test this mic on that camera today, right after this exercise. So maybe we can avoid playing with double audio and and forgetting to turn on the mic and all that stuff. So we can just turn on the turn on the camera and the mic right there because I happen to never forget about this uh, this microphone here. And then other than that, it should be simple enough. But I do need a wide angle lens. I don't know. Okay, either I will need wide angle lens or I'll need to take this camera instead or I'll go back to the GoPro. <laughs> uh, oh, just a few more seconds to go. I don't know if investing more money into this thing is worth it, but it should be. It's not about the money anyway. It's about me meeting my goals. It's more important than money at this point. All right, this is the last break. And it's going to be the last set of these leg races. Which by the way, at some point we're gonna do the leg races hanging on the bar. I am definitely determined to be able to hold myself on the bar for longer so I can do leg races. If not, I do have uh, this uh, straps that you put, that you put your arms on and hang on the bar and then you can do leg races from there. Uh, but I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible because I know some of you are probably trying to follow along And you probably don't want to be buying all this stuff Now if you are into fitness, you'll end up buying stuff anyway <laughs> But to begin for be for beginners you don't need You don't need weights. You don't need a bench. You don't need any of that stuff Push-ups pull-ups squats. That's pretty much all you need and then get creative with those all right, let's talk and more doing. Here we go.
Well, that's definitely it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.